नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल फार्मा नॉलेज फोरम टुडे आई विल टीच यू रोल ऑफ रिलेटिव डिस्टेंस फैक्टर दैट इज आरआरएफ इन फार्मास्यूटिकल एनालिसिस इन दिस सेशन यू विल लर्न व्हाट आर द वेरियस टेक्निक फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द इनपुटेज व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस इन यूजिंग एक्सटर्नल स्टैंडर्ड मेथड फॉर इनपुटेज कैलकुलेशन व्हाई आरआरएफ इज नीडेड what are the factors affecting the rrf in which case rrf may not be considered in the calculation in which case rrf should be considered in the calculation techniques for calculating the impurities first is area normalization method here i will say an second against diluted standard of mean analyte here i will say ads third using corresponding impurity standard here i will say ais this method is also called external standard method let us take an api containing impurity b and c now question comes how b and c will be calculated by above method we are going to discuss in next impurities calculation impurities are calculated by following formula percentage of impurities is equal to area of an impurity into 100 divided by total area into rrf in case of area normalization method rrf is not used and it is being considered as one impurity b and impurity c we are calculated using an method ads method and ais method following are the result of b and c by each method from result it is clear that result obtained by an and ads method is different than the ais method now question comes among an ads and ais method which one is the correct method we'll discuss about this in next slide result obtained by an method and ads method only be correct with universal detector and not by uv detector universal detector like elsd and ms detector for uv detector result depend upon concentration as well as absorbance of the molecules absorbance of a molecule depends upon its structure as well as wavelength used as each impurity may have different wavelength maxima hence result obtained by an and ads method is not correct now question comes what about ais method can ais method be possible to use every time we will discuss in next challenges in using method ais method ais needs each individual impurity standard while performing the analysis most impurity standards are not commercially available especially during development stage impurity preparation or isolation and characterization is a costly as well as time consuming process it increases the cost of project many folds if impurity is highly hygroscopic or unstable in that case it is impossible to preserve and use an external standard it also increase the analysis time many fold now question comes what is the solution we'll discuss in next to get rid of challenges related to method ais relative response factor that is rrf has been introduced it is defined as the ratio between the response factor for an impurity and the response factor of an mean analyte standard usp usage factor 
which is a relative response factor and it is used in denominator for calculation. Pharma Europa used a correction factor which is equal to 1 by RRF and correction factor is used in the numerator for calculation. Now I will discuss about RRF determination method. There are various methods for calculating the RRF. Among them, linearity and slope method are widely used in the industries. The relative response factor will be determined by dividing the slope of a specified available input with the slope of the reference substance. Now question comes how slope will be determined. I am going to discuss response and concentration method. It is a tentative method. RRF is equal to area response of an input divided by area response of sample. Linearity and slope method procedure prepare at least five concentration from two stock solution for each input as well as for main analyte at concentration range between QL to 150% of the impurity limit. Generate the chromatogram for each concentration for both impurities as well as main analyte using test method. Draw the linearity plot and calculate the slope. Each linearity curve should have the acceptance criteria of linearity. Now I am going to discuss taking one example and in a light containing input I, the limit of input I is 0.15%. Sample concentration is 400 mcg per ml. QL of the method is 0.04 percent. Chromatogram was generated for analyte A and input I at each concentration between range of QL to 200 percent of input limit that is 0.15 percent. Linearity was plotted for analyte A and linearity was plotted for input I and slope was calculated for analyte A and input I. RRF was calculated by dividing slope of input A with slope of analyte A. In this case, RRF is 0.514 and this RRF will be used for whole analysis. Once RRF is available, following formula is used to calculate percentage of an impurity. Area of an impurity into 100 divided by total area into RRF. To calculate impurity I, here area of impurity I will be kept. Here total area of all peaks will be kept and here 0.514 will be kept. Advantages of RRF Helping in giving fast and exact result of improvement or in drug substance or drug intermediates or drug product. Universally acceptable by regulators and by pharmacopoeia, one-time evaluation job and lifetime calmness, avoid the stability or storage or management issue with the standard, reduce the analysis or project development cost as well as time drastically. Now question comes. Will RRF be used in all chromatographic condition? We'll get the answer for the same in next. Factors affecting RRF. RRF may change due to change of wavelength. When wavelength will be changed, UV spectra will be changed and hence 
RRF will be changed. Column brand, column stationary phase particle size detector. Suppose method was developed on UV detector and if analysis will be performed using PDA detector, then RRF will vary. Solvent grade, buffer concentration, column temperature, pH, flow rate. Now question comes, what about the RRF of isomeric impurities? We'll discuss in next. RRF of isomeric impurities. It is assumed that isomeric impurity may have the same RRF. But in some of the cases, it has been observed that isomeric impurities having the different RRF. The reason is that isomeric impurity having the different UV spectra. For example, in case of parahydroxybenzoic acid, its isomeric impurity lie orthohydroxybenzoic acid and metahydroxybenzoic acid may not have the same RRF because each having the different UV spectrum. Now, second question comes, what about the RRF of impurities having huge difference in absorbance? RRF and variation in absorbance there is huge difference in the structure. Each molecule have different absorbance capacity. It will give high absorbance. It will also give high absorbance. It will give low absorbance. And these will be also give low absorbance at the same concentration. Now question comes, can RRF be used in such case? We'll discuss in next slide. Conditions for RRF consideration, RRF between 0.8 and 1.2 should be considered as one and may not be used for calculation. RRF below 0.8 should be expressed with two significant numbers. RRF of less than 0.2 or more than 5 should not be used. Now question comes, can RRF of an unassociated impurity be calculated or not? Think answer of this question and write in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel to get my new videos. Let's meet in my new session. Thank you.